Welcome to the tutorial to install PC Splitter on your system. Uh, before doing that, we need to configure the system first. So this is the server to which our thin clients will connect remotely. So I'm going to go here and first give a static IP to this system so that our thin client need not to enter a different IP again and again. I will go in uh, network and sharing and there I will go in network connections in the properties of the LAN card to give a manual static IP. Uh, you can know these settings by running a command here. Uh, go in uh, start menu and type cmd. After that, type IP config. So these are the settings that this these are the default of system. Things like subnet mask, gateway, and other things can be copied from here except the IP address. Here we are using IP address as 192.168.2.2. So we will be using that IP address so our system has now got a static IP so go in the Google search for WinRAR click here and download it so both downloads can happen simultaneously in case you are already having WinRAR, you can skip this step. So here we are going and installing the software which will unzip the device driver that I am, that I am downloading at the moment. So let it unzip first. So now we will go ahead and install the system by pressing yes, install, so our WinRAR is installed now, so we will close this tab and we will wait for this download to get finished, ok good this download is also finished so we will close this and we will close the browser window, so this is the download, before configuring that let me create a sample user. So before creating you need to actually know something about the system. You can go in start and right click on the start. Go in properties. Go in customize and scroll to the bottom and click on run command. This is a command which we will be using uh, to actually launch some commands which will help you to configure the system further. So I am pressing ok. Click on start. Now you can see the run menu which, is, which was not visible earlier click on run type control user password control user passwords and press ok so now you will create another account which will remotely desktop and which will be a separate user so I will go in manage account and I will create a new account I will type a sample name before create and uh, we have to make sure that we give a password to Ibor otherwise uh, it will not connect to a remote desktop this is the default setting of Microsoft you can change that but then you have to go into policies and all so generally we do not recommend so now we have created a user with name user Ibor and uh, now we have to configure the remote desktop settings so you will click on start again you will click on computer you will do the right click this time and go in the properties in the properties you will go in remote settings and uh, you will allow allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop services and you will press apply and then you will go in select users and then you will add that user you can either use uh, you can manually type but I recommend uh, using this find now wizard so we will search and uh, we will go with the board which we have created earlier and we will press ok so now we board user has the access to remote desktop we will quit from here and uh, before running the patch let me show you the configuration of system that configuration can be done from computer properties and uh, going in the properties there you will find 32 bit operating system this particular system is of 32 bit so now what we will do we will do and uh, we will extract the patch here Please make sure that while running the patch there is no antivirus in the system because if there is antivirus then it might block the patch 
and also make sure that the firewall is allowing the remote desktop services if you have external firewall if you have firewall that is installed by antivirus or a firewall that is a gateway firewall you need to configure the firewall actually so I will go and I will run auto run as administrator I will press yes and uh, I'm gonna go with the English installation and press accept install and there we will go in the windows setup you can have a different windows server here so this particular system is a windows 7 uh, so we will go in the windows 7 as we have seen earlier that uh, the, this system is of 32 bit so we will select xx rates in case it is of 64 bit then you have to go with this option so let me select this option for this demo and uh, now the patch is running after the patch is running it will uh, restart the system so I am gonna patch the system I hope that by doing this step there is the antivirus is disabled and press ok and then it will ask for system restart so the system will now restart system is now restarting So the uh, system is now being restarted. So let us check from another system uh, whether this configuration will work or not. So we will go in another window there. This is a sample window that I have configured. So let me resize it. And uh, here I am going to go in start menu and I will go in remote desktop connection and I will enter the server. This step is actually important, important before trying to configure the setup in thin client so that we can be sure that uh, at least the remote desktop services are running fine from our side so from another PC I will be pressing connect and uh, as it shows that the system is able to connect so I'm gonna go and uh, as this will be the first login so it might be a little bit delayed as the user will configure the settings uh, but we recommend running this particular step from another computer so that you can be confident about the fact that the remote desktop server is running fine from a system. In case you are not able to connect then it means that uh, either the network cable is not working or the firewall of your system is not configured to allow the remote desktop from outside. In case you do not know firewall settings or you think uh, system administrator can help you then please quote him TCP port number 3389 these are the default firewall settings that have to be allowed for the remote desktop to work in any environment this is a standard remote desktop port number so as you can see that we were successfully able to connect to a remote desktop so now I will go ahead and uh, we will go in the setup of the system so ok so I am gonna go and do the thin client configuration for now